become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Hi, Li Ming. You look upset. What's the matter? There will be a parents' meeting in our class this Saturday, and I am worried about it. Why? We can leave school earlier that day. I didn't do well in last exams. If my father knows it, he will beat me up. I can't believe it. My parents never beat me. You know that my father is irritable. You can ask the teacher for help. Good idea. I want to buy a parking permit, please. Are you a full-time student or do you attend part-time in the evenings? I attend both day and evening classes. Will you be riding a motorcycle or do you drive a car? I ride a motorcycle. That permit will run twenty-five dollars. Will that be cash or credit card? I'll use a credit card. Thank you. Do you need a second permit for a car? No, just the motorcycle permit. Fine. Here it is, and have a great semester. In my country, we go to school from eight o'clock in the morning until five in the afternoon. Five days a week, too. Actually. Five and a half. On Saturday, we have classes only in the morning. Gosh, that's too much for us, really. Where are you going now? I'm going to try to find out where the school is located. When do you start school? I'm going to register right now. That's good. Why did the teacher criticize Myra in front of the whole class? Because Myra was cheating on exams, and she spoke back rudely. I don't think that Myra should have spoken so rudely to the teacher. I know she was angry, but that's still no excuse for rudeness. Hey, John, did you register for classes yet? I register this Friday. What classes do you plan on taking? I really want to take the communication class, but I don't know if it will be available. Is that class really that popular? Yeah, I tried to get in last semester, but it was full by the time I registered. What other classes are you going to take? I still need to take English 201. But I really don't like writing. I took that class already. There is a lot of writing, but it's not that bad. Oh, really? Who was the instructor? There are like four different instructors to choose from. I had Professor Mahoney. Is he an easy grader? I'm not sure if he is or not, but I thought he was definitely fair. Do you mind if I ask you what you got? Not at all. I got a three point eight. Well, what did you get in English one hundred one last year? I got a four point zero in that class. Well, I can't compare to you. I got a three point one in English one hundred one. That means if you got a lower grade in English two hundred one, it must be harder. It's not what it appears. I actually tried harder in the 101 class. If I put as much effort into the 201 class, I would have received the same grade. Oh, that helps. Thanks. How did you do in the last quiz? I doubt if I can pass it. Don't be so worried. You know, Professor Robert is not too strict. But I often skip his classes, and he doesn't like me. I hope you'll do better in the final. I must. 
If I want to pass the course. Do you need help with something? I'm looking for this book. Is there something wrong? I don't see it on the shelf. Did you check the computer? I already looked. Did it say anything? It said that the book is on the shelf, but it isn't. I'm sure I can get it from another library. Could you do that? I'll let you know when I get the book in. That's great. Thank you so much. Miss Fallon, can you tell me why you want to get a visa to the States? To study. I am going to the University of Tampa to do a postgraduate course for three years. And do you have the letter of acceptance from the university with you? Yes, here it is. Thank you very much. And do you have any proof of the financial support for the three years? I've got a letter from my bank here. It shows I am able to support myself during these three years of studies. Could I see that, please? Yes, here it is. Thanks very much. Well, I'll be able to give you a visa for one year, a student visa, that is. Oh, but mine is a three year program. Yes, it is a three year. But you can renew the visa each year in the States. It is our usual procedure. Okay, thank you. Do you buy that newspaper every day? Yes, I do. I find it very informative. It always has plenty of articles from correspondents all over the world, and the business section is very useful too. Is there a Sunday edition of that newspaper? Yes, there is. It has several sections, so it's quite a read. It usually takes me a few hours to read it on Sunday morning. What section does it have? Let me see. There's the news section, the entertainment section, sports, business, and world affairs. What's in that section? World affairs? They look at the most important stories in more detail. I find it fascinating. Do you buy a daily paper? I buy a national newspaper sometimes, but I nearly always buy a local evening newspaper. I find the local news more interesting than national or international news. How are you getting along with your paper? I haven't finished it. It is very difficult. You should hand it in before next Sunday. Oh, I know. I will try my best. I believe you can do a good job. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency.